Welcome. You're in for a treat. <laughs> this is 1953's Glen or Glenda, Ed Wood's masterpiece and the first feature film he made. We know Ed from Plan 9 from Outer Space, and we know Ed from Night of the Ghouls. This is sort of a biographical piece. Uh, Glenda Glenda is a tale of a poor transvestite who loves Angora, and he's shunned by the world. Ed cast himself in the lead role as Glenn and Glenda, because Ed was a transvestite that loved Angora. This is an amazingly fun film. Uh, his real-life girlfriend, Dolores Fuller, is in the film. And she learned of Ed's proclivities around the same time they started shooting. She did okay, though. She went on to write music for Elvis and died a millionaire. Go figure. This is also the first time Ed works with Bella Lugosi, one of his childhood heroes. So there's a lot of cool things happening within Glen or Glenda. It's sort of a mockumentary style, um, wherein Ed tells the story of this fictional Glenn. It's really him. And all the trials and tribulations he had to go through growing up and, and loving to wear women's clothes. 1950s, not very conducive to accepting that. This film was also pitched to the distributor, Ed did the pitching, as uh, the Christine Jorgensen story. And Christine Jorgensen was the first successful United States sex transplant uh, <laughs> patient. And uh, Ed pitched this as a documentary on her. He went on to make his own little biographical story. So, 1953, Glenn or Glenda. There's actually a couple of sequels that not many people know about. They're in novel form. Ed wrote a bunch of books. He wrote uh, Let Me Die in Drag. The tale of a transvestite hitman named Glenn, ostensibly coming off of uh, Glenn or Glenna, and Drag Trade, another book where uh, uh, that hitman Glenn goes undercover to uh, acquire his targets. So, that little bit of backstory, this is 1953's Glenn or Glenda. Pull the string!